Most detective stories start with a phrase such as, it was a dark and stormy night. Or, the second she walked in the door, I knew she was trouble. But this story, I dare say, is not most detective stories. Be careful looking at the Egypt's fire. The boys downstairs say it's cursed. You mean you stole it, just like you stole the ruby. He did? Inspector, you have to believe me. I didn't steal the ruby. No, I'm afraid there is only one man who could pull off a heist of this magnitude. The Mauve Moth. Your Honor, sending this lad to the Jersey home for boys would be a terrible mistake. If you take a boy with his intelligence and lock him away with boys who've chosen a path of destruction, it's like giving a duck lighter fluid and a map of southern France. It doesn't make sense and will only result in chaos. Are you suggesting I should simply let him go free? Well, of course not. He is the main suspect in an attempted billion dollar ruby heist. Letting him back on the streets would be like giving a goose a driver's license and then asking him to drive the duck to southern France. Then it's settled. John Borhog. You are now the ward of Inspector Todius McGee. Wait, Wait what? what?